Hi everyone, it's Mel. Welcome back to my channel. I am super grateful to be out in the sunshine today and I'm going to guide you through a full body sculpt yoga flow. And I'm super excited for this honestly because I took a couple, like two, three days off of working out. So my body is nice and excited to move and work today. So yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and comment something nice, and we can get started. All you'll need is a mat or a comfortable rug or carpet to practice on, and I just have one set of dumbbells. Um, these are pretty light. I think they're like six pounds each, so not too crazy. And yeah, but it will start to burn after we do a lot of movement. So let's get started by closing your eyes, coming to a nice comfortable seat. You can close your eyes and take a full body scan. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Release the tongue from the top of your mouth. Notice if you have any tightness or anything that's holding in your emotions, in your muscles, in your body that you need to let go of today. Let's come onto our back. And right away, let's just pull in the knees into your chest making small circles to massage your low back. Nice. And then we can open up the knees wide, grab through your ankles, pointing your toes. We'll extend the right foot up to the sky, flex the heel, half happy baby. And then we'll bend it back and extend the opposite. Planting the foot to the sky while pulling your knee as close as you can to the mat. Nice. Bring your toes to touch and then we will just drop the ankles down to the ground for Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly pose. Put your hands on the ground, palms facing the sky. Now let's take a full body scan. First begin to notice if you are holding tension in your jaw or in your hips. Your shoulders might be up to your ears. Pull them away. Kind of take your shoulder blades underneath your body more to arch your chest to the sky. So just have like a little heart opener to begin and let's just take the next five breaths to tune into the breath and notice any tension you're going to focus on any areas of tightness or stress and breathe into them as we flow you'll notice at the end you'll feel much much better Beautiful. Okay, let's take the fingers behind the nape of the neck. You can interlace them. Okay, so you took a little pillow for your neck. So first find that connection by pushing the low back to the mat. And then you'll notice that you'll, your knees will raise a little bit. And from there, we're going to squeeze elbows to knee, keeping the connection of the big toes. And let's bring it back down. Touch the toes to the earth. Inhale. And then exhale, push the low back to the mat and squeeze. Taking this for 10. 
to your own breath. It's nice to move nice and mindfully, nice and slow. So you can really work into those abdominal muscles as well as opening up the hips. We're halfway, keep it going. Last one, squeeze, hold at the top. Okay, keep that connection. And then you're just going to extend the right leg out, keeping the left elbow to the left knee. And you're kind of twisting open to the right. And then we'll change sides. So bring the right knee up and extend out the left. This is a little funky. Normally we do like cross the body, but this is also very good for the obliques. Okay. Let's keep it going. Five on each side, 10 total. Woo! Starting to burn so bad, but we got this. Keep breathing. Last time on each side. Woo! and relax oh extending the arms behind you and we'll plant the heels on the ground let's lift for bridge stretching out the core you can come onto your tippy toes and even bring your arms down to the ground let's do that for 10. so we're going to drop extending the arms over the ears and then extend Pushing through the glutes, squeezing the core. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Hold at the top, try to bring your feet a little closer to your butt and you can try to grab your ankles and then extend through. Making sure your shoulder blades are nice and curled under so you can lift for a higher back bend. Three more breaths. Last two, last one and lower. Pull the knees in, give yourself a big hug. And let's drop the knees over towards the left. Gentle spinal twist. Gaze this to the right hand. And swing them through the center to change sides. All right, let's open up the arms to a T. Last little core, right, before we start to flow. We're going to keep it going as we twist left and right. You can either keep your knees or your shins at a 90 degree angle, or to make it harder, you can extend the legs and do straight legs. This creates a lot of tension in the midsection. It's also cheating if you lift the shoulder blade up, so you have to keep the shoulder blades down and go as much as you can, as far as you can over, while keeping the shoulder blades. If it's too hard with the straight legs, it's not bad to do bent knees. Makes it easier for you to really focus on your core and still get a nice good stretch back and forth. Two more. Last one. Nice. Go on this side. Amazing. All right. Let's take the back of the thighs. Rock and roll a couple times. The length of your mats. Woo. And 
once you get to the top, let's just cross the ankles. Inhale, arms up to the sky. And hands to heart center. Setting an intention, if you didn't already, for this class, this yoga practice of the day. Beautiful. Okay, let's plant the hands behind us, fingertips facing us, and we will lift the hips for reverse tabletop. Chin can stay in the chest or drop to the back. Nice. All right, drop the hips and extend the legs as we forward fold. <sighs> Nice. Bring the hands back one more time. Try to do it with the legs straight. So you're lifting your hips up. Legs are straight. Amazing. And drop the hips. This time, instead of forward folding over the both legs, we're gonna bend this left leg and the foot. Put this left foot inside of your thigh and fold for Johnny Sirsasana. Flexing the right foot to your face. Nice. And here's where we're gonna add on. So this is the beginning of our flow. So take note, you're folding on your right leg. You're going to drop the left arm behind you. Inhale for modified side plank. Good. Stand it tall, gate pose. Side bending on the left side. And you will circle down, plant both hands at the back of the mat. Right away, extend the left leg up to the sky, three legged down dog. Flexing the foot, keeping the hip square. And then let's open it up. You can bend the knee. Good. Now watch. You're gonna come forward to a high plank with the left leg lifted. Try to take a one-legged chaturanga push-up. Extend it back up. And push it back to the sky. Bend the knee. Nice. And plant it down. Let's roll to a high plank. Lower down slowly. Bottom of the plank. Inhale. Cobra roll. Exhale, drop it down. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Plant the hands under the shoulders. Push it up, high plank. And hips are to downward facing dog. Now watch. We're just going to circle it down. Coming back to this position where you're facing this way of the mat. And then you're gonna bend this right leg into the thigh. Inhale for our Johnny Sirsasana. Head to knee pose. So that's a little funky transition of twisting. You can do it kind of however you want, but I like to kind of use that hand to twist and use the core. Big inhale, big exhale. Nice. All right, right hand plants behind you. Modified side plank. Inhale, gate pose. Exhale, plant the hands. Lift this up, right leg up to the sky, three-legged down dog. Flex the heel, hips are square. And then open it up, bend the knee. Come on forward, high plank. One-legged chaturanga push-up. Down and up, and lift it back up. Plant the foot. And here's we roll forward, taking our three cobra rolls. Fingertips are on the mat, and roll it up. Good. High push up, downward facing dog. 
Here's where we roll. We're gonna roll on the opposite arm to come down and bend the opposite knee. John, use your sasana. We go again. We're gonna do one more time on each side. You know where we're going. Plant the hands. Modified side plank. Gate pose. Two, three-legged down dog. Bend the knee. Make a circle or two. And one-legged chaturanga push-up. Push it back up. Plant it down. Roll it forward. Three cobra rolls. Woo. Meet me in downward facing dog. And here's where we twist this way. Yep. And bend the opposite knee. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going to your own breath. You can add in or take out anything. This is kind of a funky little sun A, but I hope you guys like it. To really warm up the entire body, especially the core and the shoulders. For this sculpt yoga workout. You don't even need weights. This, I'm already feeling in every single part of my body. It's so good to find strength with your body, your body weight, to really get as strong as you possibly can. Okay, so here we are, we're back, facing the back of the mat. Let's take the fleshy part away and fold over your straight legs. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna take the weights and have them close to the mat. Okay, now watch. We're going to circle the arms down, kind of like what we just did, right? And you're going to come to high plank, okay? Pushing the hips up to the sky for downward facing dog. Let's lift right leg to the sky, three-legged down dog. We'll tap right knee to your nose. Inhale up, tap knee to right tricep. Inhale, exhale across the body, left tricep. Last time, inhale up, exhale, step the foot inside of the hands, and here's where we grab the weights. Let's come on up. To crescent warrior. Okay, tap the back knee down, lift it up. Just starting with the bottom half of our body, and then we'll add in the arms. Okay, keep it going. Now let's take the weights to our shoulders, and as we go down, we're gonna press up at the top. If you wanna make it harder, instead of extending all the way straight at the top, you can kind of keep it down low to only straighten the back knee while you keep the front knee at a 90 degree angle. We have five more. Four, three, two, and one. Plant it up to the sky, bring it to your chest. Let's drop the back heel so you're in a warrior two position. And we're going to punch the arms out, keeping the elbows bent. Okay, take this back weight to your hip, punch it to the sky, reverse your warrior, and we will drop down, elbow to knee, dropping this left arm to the mat, and then we will extend it up to the sky. Going for 10. You're feeling this in your back, your shoulders, your hips. Rowing it back as much as you can and planting it to the sky. Last couple. Woo! 
and we will just turn and pivot towards this side, taking both of the weights, both hands inside for a lizard lunge. Open up the right toe a lot. You can drop onto the back knee. Beautiful. With the weights or without, we're gonna take five lizard push-ups. So you're dropping down and pushing up. To make it harder, you lift on the back toe. Drop it down, lift it up. Four, five, nice. Take the foot to the back of the mat and lower down for a chaturanga. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Now, you don't have to keep your hands on the weight, but it just feels okay for me to do, so I'm gonna keep them there. Only because these don't roll. But you can always just move them to the side and then pick them up when we start to flow. Okay, so we're on the left side now. Left leg lifts. Good. Let's do our knee squeezers. Coming to your nose. Inhale it up. Same elbow. And opposite elbow. Nice. Step it through. Here we are. Grab the weights. For our crescent warrior. Now again, we're just starting with the low body, tapping the knee and coming up. Going for a few. And here's where we bring the weights on the shoulders and begin to press. You can start with the extension of the legs as well, or just go right away into the low version where you're just doing the back knee. Last five. Two and one. Woo! Weights to the center. Drop the back heel. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Two side angle. And here's where we do the rows. Ready? Drop it down. Row and extend. Keep your hips open. Squeeze your butt. So your hips are facing forward. So you're truly getting a full body workout here. Woo, okay, last one. Nice. Plant the heels, plant the weights, pivot towards the front, bring this left foot out and drop the knee. Lizard lunge. Hold for a breath, and then we'll add on the lizard push-ups. I'll move the weights and begin. Woo, okay. Step the foot back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And push the hips back, child's pose. Woo, take a big inhale. Open the mouth, audible exhale. Nice. You can take a drink of water if you need. How do you feel? I hope you feel amazing. I feel so good already. And we're only about halfway. So let's get the rest of this. Okay, let's change up the flow, shall we? Okay, meet me in downward facing dog, in five, in four, three, two, and one. All right, you're in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up to the sky, bend the knee open, and watch. We're gonna flip the dog, bringing your hips all the way down, and then extending through the back bend, right? Let's drop it down two more times. Lift it up, last time, up. And here's where we extend this arm over and come back to three-legged down dog. I like to step this back foot up a little bit. 
Okay, inhale it up. Step it through between the hands. Grab the weights right away. You're gonna bring the weights at the highest level if you have dumbbells like this, or you can use water bottles, whatever will bring you up. Blocks. And then we're gonna come right into modified airplane. So your hips are square. Flexing the toe to the ground. We're going to bend both knees, squeeze the knee in, and extend it back. Squeeze, extend. We're kind of kicking the butt to do glute kickbacks, okay? As we add in this crunch in the middle. Nice. Last three, two, and one. Extend it back. Now watch, you're gonna open up for half moon, balancing on one of the weights. Not putting too much weight on here, so you don't want it to fall. Okay, lifting up through the midsection, lifting this foot. Nice. Circle the hand down, take one more little squeeze. Let's try to grab the weights, and then extend the leg back for full airplane with the weights at your heart center. We're gonna drop it down, row it up. Wide rows, row it back, drop it down. If it's too much, you can drop this back toe so you're in kind of like lightning bolt and then go for it. Woo. Nice, all right, stand it tall. Bring the left knee to your chest. Bring bicep curls, right? Keeping the palms facing upwards, flexing the left foot. Nice. Last two. One. Okay. Bring the weights to your heart. Extend the leg behind you again for airplane. This standing leg should be burning. And we're going for triceps. So again, you can bring this back foot back if you need but we're going to extend the arms behind you and then bend them back in, going for 10. Two and one, nice. Plant the weights down, step the back foot. Right, we're gonna release the weights, stand it all the way to star pose and take a little forward fold. Woo. Drop the knees down, toes are out, got a squat, arms are floating, let's go pulse, 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 nice. A few more, you can lift onto the tippy toes. Amazing. Now watch, we're going to grab the weights, take them to the back of the mat, and inhale right up, or three-legged down dog, left leg is to the sky. Remember, we've been here before, bend the knee open, and we will flip the dog. Drop the hips down, keep the elbow at your knee, and we will extend up three times. One, two, and three. Circle the arm down, and back to three-legged dog. Nice. Squeeze knee to nose. Inhale it up. Same elbow, inhale, opposite elbow, and step it through. All right, right away, take the weights to the highest point, and we're in modified warrior three. Going for our glute kickbacks with the crunch. Keep it going, let it feel good on the glutes. We're going to have such toned bodies by the end of this. You're gonna feel nice and sore tomorrow, hopefully. And last couple, nice. All right, open it up, half moon. Balancing on the weight or even lifting the hand. Nice. Circle the hand down, squeeze it in the center and grab the weights to stand up. Bicep curls, begin. You're gonna have them face your body. So here we go, begin.
<laughs> and 10. Okay, I'm gonna face this way again. And swing leg behind you, going for the triceps. Now, because before we were facing the body, now this time we're gonna face palms up when we do our triceps. Ready? Last three, two, one. Plant the weights down. Great, step this right foot to meet the left foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Pada Gustasana, taking the finger, piece fingers with the big toes. Inhale, and exhale, fold. Nice. Release the bind. Going for Hasta Padagustasana. Hands are underneath the feet. Using your big toes to massage your wrists. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Nice. All right, release that. Open up the toes wide. Drop down for yoga squat or malasana. Let's keep on the right side, extend the right hand, and then push this left hip open with the left hand. Good. Pushing the hips forward. Oh, it feels so good. And let's change sides. Hands to heart center. Extend the left, pushing the right hip. Okay, coming back through center, sitting on your butt, taking the weights. We just have a little bit more left, okay, you guys? So rolling onto your back, bringing your hands up to the sky, legs up to the sky. We're doing our chest press while lifting and lowering our legs. So watch, drop the legs, keep the toes flexed, and then point the toes as you come up with both the hands and the feet. Flex the toes, chest press, point, and lift. We're going for 20 of these since they are more easy than the other ones and we only have one of them. We don't have both sides to do. All right, we're halfway, 10 more. Are good. Let's put the weights to the side. Okay, roll it on up and we're gonna switch sides like we did before in the beginning by just rolling over to a plank and we're going to take um, 20 push-ups but you can break it up into two or three sets, okay? So let's go ahead and begin. You can keep your knees down if you want but I recommend you trying to go for the full version and begin. Okay, that's 10. I'm gonna take a quick little break to break it up into two. Whew. This is our last little strength, okay? After this, we're just gonna do some easy stretches, right? So let's finish this off. You can change the push-up. I was doing kind of like wide elbows. Now I'm gonna bring my hands together and do more like normal push-ups. And begin. Woo, I gotta put 
put it down for the last three. Last two. Last one. Woo! Push it back to child's pose. Bringing your arms behind or beside your body. Grabbing your feet. And just resting for a moment. Letting your heart rate lower down to a more normal rate. Hmm. All right, set it up onto your shins. <sighs> Bring your hands to your lap or your heart center. Connecting again with your breath, with your intention that you set in the beginning. I hope you feel so good. Hmm. All right, let's take some last little stretches. Coming onto your stomach. Let's just take the forearms underneath the body for Sphinx Pose. Lifting the shoulders away from your ears. Keeping your chin and your gaze just right in front of you a few feet. <sighs> nice. Let's just gaze to the right and gaze to the left. Nice. Open up your arms to a goal post position and we will just roll on over towards the right side after doing our chest presses and our rows and our push-ups. This should feel extra uh, spicy. Don't let it get to you. Just breathe into those muscles. We put in a lot of work. Nice. Coming back through center and change sides. Whew. Extra spicy for me. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Come back to center. Let's come back to Sphinx Pose. Open up the right knee. So you're in half frog pose. And we're just going to thread the needle with the left arm underneath the chest and open up for a spinal twist. This spinal twist will probably feel different than it felt in the beginning, which is good. That means you put work into your body, your muscles are engaged. This feels extra good. Nice. All right, plant this right hand back down. Come back through center and change sides. So left knee is up, flexing the heel, half froggy, and here's where we thread the needle, the right arm goes under, and we open up for the spinal twist. Nice. Coming back through center. Bringing both knees out wide, sitting back for a wide child's pose. Here you can kind of focus to go into full froggy if that's what you want to practice. Getting into your hips.
and slowly come out of that. Woo! Ah. Sliding yourself into puppy pose, which is where your hips are over your knees. Your hands are reaching forward, stretching out your shoulders. <sighs> All right, just as a transition that you guys can try, a little bit of extra here. You can come to downward facing dog and you're going to step or hop to cross your ankles to roll onto your back um, the opposite way. So this is just practicing your float. So here we go, inhale, take your toes, look forward. Try to float yourself into a little handstand, cross your ankles and lift yourself up to roll onto your back. You can come on forward so you have a little bit more room. We're gonna come into shoulder stand and plow pose or halasana. So lift your hips up to the sky. First, first candlestick. Legs are straight up to the sky. Hands are on your low back or not, or they can be bound on the ground. And here's where we can bend the knees or keep them straight for plow pose. Try to take the bind behind your back and extend the arms so they're on the mat. It also is working into your core, but especially your shoulders. Whew. Lots of balance. We're staying here for 10 breaths. Mm. Taking whatever variation is calling for you. Nice. Slowly make your way back down to the ground. Back down to the mat. One vertebrae at a time. Woo. And as soon as your hips go down, you're pulling your upper body up. So you're balancing on your elbows and the crown of your head for fish pose. Counterbalance. <sighs> nice. Whew. All right. I give you the choice is to either end in Shavasana, where you're just laying down, decompressing on the mat, or you can meet me in a seated meditation. We're just going to end the practice with just a few deep breaths. You can take any other poses or stretches that you might need to get in today that I didn't do. So take the time to do any last things that you need that your body needs. Otherwise, meet me in a seat or on your back. <sighs> Taking a full body scan once again. Notice if you do feel more tight or less tight. We did do sculpts with weights, so you might feel, you know, worked. Your muscles might feel worked, but Ultimately, hopefully they feel more aligned and open, but you still feel the muscles that were worked. Let's take three deep breaths to end together. You can either keep your hands down or inhale them up to the sky as you inhale. So let's go, inhale. Exhale everything. Two more, inhale. Nice. Hopefully you let go of anything that does not serve you and you breathe in more life, more positivity, more gratitude as you flowed and worked out with me today. All right, guys. Namaste, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this class. Please make sure you're subscribed and you check out my other videos if you want any other stretches 
more chill or even harder classes, go ahead and check out my Guided Yoga Flows playlist and my Workout With Me playlist. So yeah, hope everyone has an amazing rest of their day. Mwah. Bye.